Welcome to this HP video discussing the HP Van SDN controller. This video is part of a series of videos discussing the installation and setup of the HP controller. So once we've installed the Ubuntu server, we need to download the HP controller software from the HP website. The HP website shows me the current release of software. At the time of this recording, it's version 2.5.15. Previous releases of the HP controller software and archived versions of the software are also shown on the HP website. It's recommended that for this course, you download version 2.5. When you're watching this, a later release of the controller software may be available, and you may prefer using that version for labs and testing. However, because the HP course was written on version 2.5, we're going to use version 2.5 of the software, and the installation steps that I'm showing in these videos are related to 2.5. Once again, there may be a newer version of the software when you watch these videos, and you would have to follow the installation process as detailed on the HP website for that version of software. So I'm gonna click on the select link for version 2.5. Information about the controller is shown. So as an example, 2.5.15 supersedes previous releases. There is very good documentation on the HP website, and I strongly recommend that you download and read the installation guide. I'm gonna be following the installation guide in these videos, so as an example, I'm going to install prerequisite software as detailed in the installation guide. But before we get there, let's download the software. So I'm gonna click on the download link. Before downloading, you need to accept the license agreement. So I'm gonna click accept and click download. The software is part of a zip file, 184 meg in size. I'm gonna select Save File and click OK to save it to my local machine. Now before I install the prerequisite software on the HP controller, I'm gonna shut the server down and take a snapshot. So I'm gonna type sudo shutdown hyphen H to halt the Ubuntu server. As you can see, the Ubuntu server has now been turned off. In VirtualBox, I'm going to go to Snapshots, and I'm going to take a snapshot and call it New Ubuntu Install. I'll start up the Ubuntu server once again. Server is starting up, and it's ready for login, so SDN Skyline. IFConfig shows me the IP address of the server. In PuTTY, I'll restart the session, log in as SDN, password is Skyline, and I'll do sudo apt-get update to update the package files once again. Before installing prerequisites on the HP controller, Ubuntu system, it's recommended that you use this command, sudo apt-get update. That concludes this video. This is once again one of a series of videos discussing the installation and setup of the HP Van SDN controller. Please refer to HP's website for additional videos in this series. Thank you for watching.